ईश्वरो गुरु रात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम ओं सहनावतु सहनौनपु सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तमा विदुषावहे ओं शांत 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 ज्योतिर्भाषमुक्षिर्वैशरणुप्रकाशमुक्षिर्वैशरणुप्रभज्येवशाचशाचशाचिहांगनायांत्रिकसंसिद्धमादिमुच्यांतवर्जिताननंद
whatever hetus are given the very same hetus will apply in the case of other meanings of vaishwanara shabda as well whatever doshas accrued to the puro pakshis interpretation of vaishwanara as jatragni the same doshas will apply to devata meaning also how so because dhyumurdatvaadi is not possible for devata also so atah eva ukta hetubhya eva न देवता भूतंज देवता मीनिंग इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल भूत मीनिंग इज ऑल्सो नॉट भूत मीन्स भूत अग्नि दी लौकिक अग्नि एंड देवता देवता कैन इंक्लूड अग्नि देवता ऑल्सो बट भूत अग्नि द ऑफरिंग इज नॉट इन दी अग्नि देवता अग्नि सीन एज अ देवता बट द ऑफरिंग इज इन दी भूत अग्नि लौकिक अग्नि आधार भूत होम आधार भूत अग्नि सो होम आधार भूत कैन बी भूत अग्नि ऑल्सो नॉट ओनली जाठरा अग्नि and it can be devata also it can be agni devata or any other devata also so those kind of interpretations will also fall apart because devata any devata is a limited devata just like a jiva is limited devata is limited jatragni is limited across jivas there may be jatragni but it is still limited bhutagni is also limited so these meanings all these meanings will fall apart if you interpret vaishwanara as anything other than parmatma because dhyumurdatva is not possible for limited devata not possible for bhutagni not possible for any one other than parmatma that is the meaning of this 27 sutra devata cha bhutan cha devata bhutam ekavad bhava so there is an ekavad bhava ekavad bhava here is is samahara dvandva समहारिंगेक्स्ट बिकॉज they should be having some relation in that manner they can they should have a specific sutra so we are will not go into that but we'll look at it as samahar dandva it is not itare itare dandva it is not devata bhutav it is devata bhutam because the prayoga in the sutra is in that manner so ekavad bhava says the urtikara ubhayam api na vaishwanaraha ubhayam api means devata as well as bhutagni are not laukika agni are not vaishwanara not vaishwanara shabdartha here they are not vaishwanara kutaha kasmat karanat atayeva 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 is uktebhya hetubhya eva whatever hetus are given the same hetus will hold good in refutation of vaishwanara shabda as devata also and bhutagni also which hetus the same hetus which are given for refutation of the meaning as jatragni for vaishwanara shabda nahi vikarasya bhutagni he विकारांतर विकारांतरजूलोकाध्यात्मक संभवति। फर्दर व्हाट हेतुज हैव बीन गिवन दोज आर देयर बट नाउ पूर्वपक्षी सेज हाउ अबाउट भूताग्नि बी द मीनिंग ऑफ वैश्वान शब्द इन दि उपासन लौकिकाग्नि बिकॉज होम आधार जाठराग्नि यू रिफ्यूटेड बट इट इज वेरी प्रसिद्ध होम in offering of the food not everyone does not everyone follows prana agni hotra so it may not be so prasiddha but even in even a nastika will have seen some homa going on where agni is the aadhara bhuta agni homa aadhara bhuta so in that case this agni bhuta agni laukika agni is prasiddha as vaidik agni even for a nastika how how about that being the meaning of vaishwana shabda and upasya for vaidikas agni is upasya why not even in each yaga there is upasana that upasana includes the homa agni also this can be the thinking why not so there a particular refutation of that is given by vrittikara as nahi vikarasya bhutagni he the bhutagni which is vikara 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 asya sthiti vikara so vikara has a karya also and vikara asya asti also meaning 
पूर्व पक्षी क्लेम इज भूताग्नि हैज मूर्धा एज इट्स मूर्धा इज जूलो का एंड कारण मैनिफेस्ट एज कार्य सो इफ एट ऑल दी सिद्धांति इज मेकिंग अ क्लेम दैट जू लोका कैन बी मूर्धा इट इज पॉसिबल इन उपासना बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज परमात्मा परमात्मा कार्य सो ज्यू लोका इज ऑल्सो परमात्मा ईश्वर कार्य एंड देर बाय दिस कैंड ऑफ अ उपासना इज पॉसिबल दिस कैंड ऑफ एन उपासना इज पॉसिबल नाउ हियर इन दिस केस भूताग्नि the refutation is bhutagni itself is a vikara of parmatma it's a karya bhutagni is vikara so vikarasya bhutagni he karya rupasya and if you want duloka to be its murdha then you can say bhutagni is also what vikara in the sense vikara asya asti vikara duloka rupa karyam asya asti iti vikara also that kind of a meaning is also possible From the Puro Pakshi's angle, there both meanings cannot apply because one which is karya cannot have a karya, which is itself a karya. It cannot become karana, that parama karana kind of a karana. So nahi vikar se bhutag ne he vikar antara jyulo ka dhyatma ka tum sambhavati. So bhutagni lauki ka agni which is itself vikara. cannot be vikarantara is anya vikara anya vikaraha vikarantaram which is that duloka duloka dhyatmakatvam kasya bhutagni so bhutagni being in the form of duloka which is another vikara it is also karya basically duloka is a karya The Puro Pakshi agrees. Now, is Bhutagni a karya or not? Bhutagni is also karya. The Puro Pakshi cannot say no to it. Now, how can one karya become a karana for another karya? Now, there may be a question here as to we see so many things which are karyas and they become karana for others. No, the example here is which is antya karya. How so? In the sense, the ghata. Ghata is a product of mrut. Now that kind of karya ghata can ghata be a karana for another ghata? You cannot make another ghata from this ghata. For the other ghata also, the mrut is the karana. Ghata cannot give rise to another ghata. That is the udharana used here. Example uses that. Just like suvarna also, one suvarna karya. One suvarna karya, another cannot manifest itself in the form or modify itself in the form of another suvarna karya. If at all you have to do it, it has to go back to its basic form, karana avastha. So, ekam suvarna karya, suvarna karya antar rupe na na viparane varthe. Yatha tatha. So here it is exactly like that. The refutation is like that. Bhutagni, which is a vikara of Brahma Paramatma cannot be karana for another vikara like Duloka, and therefore this kind of an upasana is not possible where you think that the Bhuta Agni's, Loki Ka Agni's, Murtha is Duloka or Swarga. Nacha Devata yaha Aishwarya Yoga Tarastu Iti Vacham. Okay, let it not be for Bhuta Agni. Devata, it can be Devata, it can be Agni Devata, it can be other Devata. So for Devata you cannot say so. Why? Because Devatas are are sentient entities with Aishwarya. Ishwara Bhava is there, be it limited, but Ishwara Bhava is there. Just like Yogi has Siddhis, which was refuted earlier, but here Devatas have more Siddhis. they do not have to do sadhana for siddhi yogi has to do sadhana for siddhi but devatas have attained that devata janma with aishwarya being born as devatas itself they are having aishwarya siddhis 
they may have got the devata janma due to the upasana ityadi in the manushya janma but having attained that janma they already have aishwarya they do not need to do something to get that aishwarya if that is the claim the purva pakshi makes the refutation is given nacha devataya aishwarya yoga tarastu iti vachyam tarastu means jiv loka adhyatmakattvam astu and thereby vaishwanara shabdasya devata iti artha astu if that is the claim no it is not possible why because that aishwarya is due to what who gives that aishwarya ishwara bhava is given by ishwara himself so tasyaha tasyaha devatayah parameshwara adhina aishwaryatvat the aishwarya that you claim due to which dyuloka can be the murdha of devata that aishwarya if at all you claim it has to be given by ishwara it is parmeshwara adhina it is dependent on parmeshwara giving it then why would you take something like a devata as upasya when you can have parmeshwara himself as the meaning there why would you go to something which is you know a twisted interpretation it is an interpretation you have derived from something else aishwarya of devata is the reason for this murdha being seen as dyuloka whereas paramatma can be having dyuloka as murdha very much possible not by some you know some upakrita aishwarya itself being upakrita by aishwarya being borrowed from someone else so parama parameshwara adhina aishwarya vatva tasya devataya ha अतः वैश्वानर सर्वात्मक परमात्मा अर्थ देर फोर वैश्वानर मीनिंग इज ओनली सर्वात्मक परमात्मा नॉट लिमिटेड इवन इफ यू से यू नो ध्यूलोकाध्यात्मक ध्यूलोकात्मक इफ यू से देन ध्यूलोकात्मक वुड बी लिमिटेड न वॉट अबाउट अदर अंगाज अदर अंगाज ऑल्सो यू लैव टू फॉर ईच अंगा यू लैव टू से ओ परमेश्वर हेज granted this aishwarya so this devata can be having his belly in this manner his bhuja in this manner all these are gaurava have gaurava dosha as well so sarvatmaka paramatma is available from the shastras to be understood as well as as upasya also in that very manner therefore वैश्वानर ये सर्वात्मक परमात्मा ये वैद्यर्थ पूर्व जाठराथक पूर्व जाठराथक वैश्वानरादि शब्द से अभ्युपेत नाउ इन दि अर्लियर अर्लियर सूत्र मल्टीपल सूत्र इवन इट वाज एक्सेप्टेड हाइपोथेटिकली एक्सेप्टेड बाय दि सिद्धांति That Vaishwanaradi Shabda, these Shabda which have been used, Vaishwanara, then uh, Homa Dhara, the uh, Hridayam, Gar uh, Garha Patyam, all these words have been used, which have different meanings. So Jatra Artha Katham is possible. That is the meaning. So Purvam Jatra Artha Katham Vaishwanaradi Shabda, Vaishwanara Shabdi, Vaishwanara Shabda and other Shabdas have the Jatra meaning also. abhyupetya having hypothetically accepted that then it was refuted that such meaning is not applicable here meaning there is shakyartha vaishwanara has shakyartha of jatragni this was the basis for the earlier sutras and the refutation of those meanings in the context of the chandogya upanishad vaishwanara upa uh, vaishwanara uh, upasana there vaishwanara upasana now the literal meaning of vaishwanara meaning the not the rudi arthas or the other arthas shakya arthas but what is the yogika artha and thereby the shakya artha can be limited only to parmatma this is shown meaning rudi artha may be there there may be shakya artha of the vaishwanara shabda अंतु जाठराग्नि भूतागनी देवता शारीर इत्यादि 
all these meanings where shakyarthas was accepted earlier now what is done is that such meanings are themselves not needed as shakyartha the shakyartha itself is parmatma meaning all those uh, all those arthas may be possible shakyartha and parmatma is not the shakyartha this is how the earlier discussion went from the puro pakshi's perspective parmatma is not the rudi artha it is not the shakyartha this was the argument and we accepted that hypothetically because even if you say so the abhyupetya is what abhyupagama vada taking purva pakshi's argument as hypothesis even if we accept these meanings as possible they are not applicable here it is illogical this is the methodology used earlier now the parmatma is the shakyartha of the vaishvarana shabda is being shown meaning we do not need to go around and refute them at all we didn't need to we have done it but parmeshwara is the shakyartha and the shakyartha which is the most applicable can be used directly we don't even need to go and refute why it is not possible why jatragni meaning is irrelevant here all these are not needed says the next sutra सो पूर्व जाठरार्थकत्व वैश्वानरादि शब्द से अभ्युपेत्य जाठरोपादिक जाठर प्रतीक वा ब्रह्मोपास्यम इति अभिहित सो व्हाट वाज सेड इज दैट जाठरोपादिक जाठर विद दि जाठरोपादि परमात्मा इज उपास्य सो व्हाट हैज बीन टेक एक्सप्लेन इवन इफ दि पूर्व पक्षी क्लेम जाठराग्नि व्हाट डू वी से ओ जाठराग्नि that that is the upadhi of paramatma and paramatma is upasya with the jatragni as the upadhi so in the upasana we take the meaning ex- acceptable okay jatragni you are saying because homa adara is jatragni prana agnihotra is being done prana is swaha apana is swa vyana ityadi so all those mantras that you are doing and offering homa adara is jatragni is the puro pakshi claim we say yes jatragni is there but it is not the vaishvanara shabda in the vaishvanara upasana in the in the jatragni when you are making an offering that time you have to take jathara as the upadhi of parmatma and through that upadhi you are offering to parmatma this is how the upasana has to be or what jathara is pratika in jathara not in jathara but uh, not as an upadhi but jathara is the pratika to have the upasan upasya paramatma on to it it becomes a pratika a symbol of paramatma so not an upadi but pratika a symbol of paramatma is jatragni so this is how you can do upasana these are the options given these are the possibilities there and thereby brahma upasyam iti abhitam paramatma brahma is upasya with jatragni as upadi or jatra as agni as pratika aduna विना वैश्वानर उपाधि कल्पना साक्षादेव परमात्मा उपासन परिग्रहे साक्षादेव परमात्मा उपासना परिग्रहे विरोधा भाव जैमिनी आचार्यो मनते दि जैमिनी आचार्य हु इज एन ऑथॉरिटी ऑन पूर्वमीमांसा ऑल दि पूर्वमीमांसा अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन दि मीमांसा सूत्र thereby he himself says that in the chandogya upanishad also where there is upasana kanda vaishvanara upasana there parmatma is the direct meaning of the shabda vaishvanara shabda means parmatma so the yogika vitpatti is being shown and if you take that meaning there is no virodha पूर्व पक्षी के नॉट बी क्लेमिंग दैट वो जाठराग्नि इज द रूढ़ी अर्थ और समथिंग एल्स इज द रूढ़ी अर्थ नो परमात्मा इज ऑल्सो दी अर्थ यौगिक अर्थ इट सेल्फ एंड शक्यार्थ ऑल्सो नीड नॉट नेसेसरी बी रूढ़ी अर्थ एंड पूर्व पक्षी सिंग देर इज नो व्युत्पत्ति ऑल्सो फॉर परमात्मा एज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऐश्वान सो देर इज नो यौगिक अर्थ ऑल्सो दिस इज दी परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ दी पूर्व पक्षी बट इफ दैट डेरिवेशन कैन बी शोन व्युत्पत्ति कैन बी शोन देन पूर्व पक्षी हेज टू गिव इन 
and puro pakshi is also karma kandi so there jaimini acharya is shown his his explanation is shown as pramana so aduna vina vaishvanara upadi kalpanam kalpanam vina without the imagination of jatragni as upadi of vaishvanara paramatma or jatragni as pratika so by extension this is only upalakshana since pratika has also been given without that pratika also साक्षात परमात्मा उपासना परिग्रहे डायरेक्टली यू कैन डू उपासना ऑन परमात्मा सो इफ यू आर सेइंग प्राणाया सह इट इज टू परमात्मा इट इज नॉट टू जाठराग्नि नॉट थ्रू जाठराग्नि टू परमात्मा नॉट टू प्राणा थ्रू जाठराग्नि व्हिच इज परमात्मा बट डायरेक्टली टू परमात्मा एवरी ऑफरिंग इज डायरेक्टली टू परमात्मा दिस इज द उपासना पॉसिबल देयर हाउ साक्षात परमात्मा उपासना परिग्रहे विरोधाभाव जैमिनीराचार्य मनते मनते सो जैमी जैमिनी आचार्य शोज दैट हाउ इत्या साक्षाद्यविरोध जैमिनी साक्षाद्यविरोध जैमिनी सो जैमिनी आचार्य से साक्षाद साक्षाद वैश्वानर शब्द से परमात्मा ब्रह्म अर्थात साक्षात अभी अविरोधम देर इज अविरोधम जैमिनी सो अविरोधम इज सेकेंड केस विरोध इज पुलिंग सो अविरोधम इज सेकेंड केस सो यू हेड सप्लाय समथिंग मनते सो जैमिनी विरोधम नास्ती मनते विरोध नास्ती मनते सो विरोधम साक्ष विरोधाभाव मनते सो वॉट हेज बीन सेड इज जैमिनी मनते अगेन मनते इज नॉट कर्मणी कर्मणी प्रयोग इट इज कर्तरी प्रयोग बोथ दि फॉर्म्स आर सेम इट्स चतुर्थ गण दिवादिगण धातु विच इज आत्मने पदी सो कर्तरे एंड कर्मणी विल बोथ गिव यू सेम फॉर्म मन धातु बीइंग आत्मने पदी एंड दि विकर्ण प्रत्यय फॉर दिवादी गण इज शन दिवादिभ्यो शन शन प्रत्यय एंड कर्मणी यक प्रत्यय कम्स इन इन कर्मणी प्रयोग यक प्रत्यय कंटेंट इज य एंड uh in kartari prayoga shen will come in content is here again being an atmane padi dhatu ta atam jo ityadi pratyad would come in so you'll get te in prathama ek vachana so manyate is a form in kartari as well as karmani so when you say manyate here it is kartari so jaimini aacharya manyate virodha bhavam is karma to manyate in the uh, in the introduction here similarly the sutra also you have to say jaimini manyate jaimini considers अविरोध कन्सिडर्स देर इज अविरोध मीन देर ही कन्सिडर्स देर इज नो विरोध इवन इफ यू टेक दि मीनिंग ऑफ वैश्वानरा साक्षात मीनिंग मीनिंग दि शक्यार्थ एज परमात्मा डायरेक्टली इवन सो अभी वैश्वानर से वैश्वानर से पूर्वापर पर्यालोचनया ब्रह्मत्णीते ब्रह्मत्णीते सती when this vaishwanara meaning is taken as what brahma brahmatva is the artha of vaishwanara by purva apara alochana purva apara alochana by thinking inquiring into both of these earlier and later sections of that kanda upasana kanda then you see what is the meaning applicable the ap- applicable meaning is parmatma brahma alone now you can rethink the derivation how can that meaning apply directly as well vaishwanara shabda because how is vaishwanara formed it's a samasa vaishwanara is a sam is a tadhita but after a samasa so first there is a so uh, there is vishwanara as the samasa and vaishwanara is tadhita of that so you have to understand what is this how is it derived so vishwa and nara have gone together into the compound first and then become vishwanara and then vaishwanara as a tadhita so vishwa and nara have gone what is this akara in between just like uh, in fact there is a sutra for this as to how do you get uh, vishwamitra the same sutra will apply here vishwa amitra if you do then it will it will be uh, it will be who is not a mitra who is not a friend to the vishwa but that is not the meaning the meaning is that who is a friend to the the derived meaning although the name need not have a meaning but uh, 
the rishi when you say vishwamitra rishi then you don't mean amitra you mean mitra to the vishwa the entire world he is a mitra because he is given us the best of the mantras gayatri mantra so this is how we can imagine a, it's a uh, uh, anvarthaka nama sanya need not have a meaning it can be just a sanya a name can be just a name it need not have a uh, it, it need not have a literal meaning for example my name is pravina i need not be pravina my parents thought that pravina is a good name they just gave it i need not be pravina in anything i need not be an expert in anything it is not an anvarthaka nama it is just a nama sanya similarly Vish, uh, vishwamitra can be just a sanya but if you look at the meaning how is it derived then vish vishwa and mitra two words have gone vishwasya mitra mitram vishwasya mitram vishwamitra some kind of a derivation you have to do although mitram is napunsaka linga so or you can for you know for simplicity we will say uh, uh, vishwam mitram yasya so we can get a pullinga so just to you know the meaning will be okay i mean other way around the entire world is a friend to him so it will you know it will set the, fit the rules also how will it become vish uh, vishwamitra so that akara is dirgha due to some rule in the vyakarana sutra similarly here also vishwa vishwascha so nara nara iti uh, there is a uh, this is a again this is a typo it's a, it's a typo vishwascha aso narascha iti actually i corrected it but i have not uh, published the uh, uh, as i said i keep on forgetting to publish the uh, pdf so if you have uh, if you have a book well and good if you have printed this then vishwascha aso narascha iti vishwanarah sarvatmaka vishwanarah means sarvatmaka vishwanarah eva vishwanarah then tadita is swarthe and so and pratyay will apply first you will get uh, this nare sanyayam iti dirgha so this dirgha you will get uh, the way you got vishwamitra in a in a in that section itself you will have uh, not the same sutra but in the same section same adhikara there you will have dirgha so dirgha is puro padasya dirgha the puro pada will get uh, dirgha vishwa plus nara will become vishwanara nare sanyayam dirgha then vishwanara eva vishwanara iti swarthe and swarthe and will apply and uh, being net it will cause dirgha it will sorry it will cause vriddhi adi vriddhi so we will become vai we will take vriddhi and become vai vishwanara prajnadibhyascha swarthe and so there is some gana where you will get uh, uh, this uh, swarthe and meaning the meaning won't change swarthe means what in the same meaning whatever meaning was vishwanara in in the same meaning you will get vishwanara the form will change now why are we looking into so much detail because jaimini acharya is showing this exactly so he is showing the uh, the derivation so we need to understand the derivation as to how vishwanara shabda will mean paramatma so iti yogena iti yogena means iti yogik vyutpatya by derivation by vyakrana sutras by derivation also vaishwanara shabda brahma parataya netavya iti tatparyartha so what does jaimini acharya say when he says there is avirodha saksha also there is avirodha he means that vishwascha so narascha vishwa means he is nara he is mean he is purusha just like we saw earlier purusha purusha vidham purushe purusha vidham purushe in the purusha is upasya that purusha purusha vidha purusha is paramatma similarly here nara is paramatma purusha and what kind of nara it cannot be a individual nara cannot be an individual purusha by because vishwascha aso nara karma dharya one who is vishwa it does not mean vishwa and nara it means one who is vishwa and the same entity is nara is purusha so who is the entire world and purusha it is bhagavan only ishwara is the being the karana of the entire prapancha he is in the form of the entire prapancha he has manifested as a karya without of course undergoing any change 
he has no vikara real vikara no uh, no parinama so vivarta vivarta karya so the vivarta upadana karana ishwara is vishwa as well as nara therefore sarvatmaka meaning vishwatmaka sarvatmaka vishvai sarva and sarvatmaka is this purusha nara who is vaishwanara called as vaishwanara by yogi ko vyutpatti therefore vaishwanara shabda brahma parataya netavya it should be led to that meaning in derivation it 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 should be led meaning it should be shown as having such meaning by derivation also iti tatparya arta this is the meaning this is the commitment of this uh, it is the vivaksha commitment it is a vivaksha of jaimini acharya when he says sakshat also there is parmatma meaning sakshat also there is no virodha if you take parmatma meaning as the derived meaning of vaishwanara shabda nanu paramatma paratve katham pradesha matra shruti hi iti ashanke tam vyakhyatum ah now the puro pakshi says if you say paramatma is the meaning be it by sakshat derivation meaning by yogi ka vyutpatti or you show by being uh, an upadhi meaning uh, other things being direct meanings being an upadhi or pratika paramatma is upasya if at all paramatma is upasya then danu paramatma paratve kasya vaishwanar shabdasya वैश्वानर शब्द से परमात्म परत्वे कथम प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति ही हाउ कैन दिस प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति अप्लाय वाई बिकॉज प्रादेश मात्र इज ए लिमिटेड स्पेस प्रादेश मात्र कैन बी अंगुष्ट मात्र पुरुष और ऑन दी फेस एज वॉज मेन्शनिंग ऑन दी मुख सम एरिया इज इज इमेजिंड टू बी परमात्मा एंड उपासना इज टू बी डन इज टू बी इमेजिन एज उपास्य दैट इज ऑल वॉट इज सेड इन दी उपनिषद pradesha matra has to be imagined with ha- having you know this upasya with these dharmas now those dharmas happen to be paramatma dharmas therefore we say pradesha matra also whether it is in hridaya akasha or on the face wherever or in the uh, in the dakshina akshini in the dakshina akshi aksh, so akshin wherever you see in a limited space you see paramatma it is because paramatma is sarvatmaka व्यापक तत्व ही कैन बी इमेजिन इन एनी मैनर एनी वे दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ अद्वैत तत्व इट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग परमात्मा एज अ विवर्त कारण ऑफ द एंटायर प्रपंच हु इज अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर एट ऑल टाइम्स इन ऑल मैनर्स ही कैन बी सीन एज अ साक्षी ऑल्सो he can be seeing as a samsari jeeva also he can be seen as a devata also he can be seen as a karta also he can be seen as a bhogya also he can be seen as a bhokta karya anything and everything without even an iota of change in parmatma that's the beauty of of vivarta upadana karana who has become everything without changing like sapna in sapna you have become anything and everything without changing even a bit very rarely do you remember the sapna let alone uh, remember each and every detail even broad strokes of the sapna we don't remember but we all dream science says that we all dream even a blind person who has never seen the world dreams in this janma he has never seen the world but he dreams he or she dreams so the dream keeps on taking place over and over we do not remember it let alone it impacting in a such a manner that it has changed us the dream does not change the waker at all there may be samskara all right we do not say no to samskara being there vasanas being generated although vasanas are being fructified in the swapna avastha still swapna may leave behind some vasanas maybe we dreamt of something we didn't uh, know of uh, in in this life we didn't know of something we dreamt of something and some let's say uh, let's take a, some easy example we saw some fruit in the uh, in the swapna which we have never seen we have never seen in a, uh, it's possible we and we think that if somebody is eating it, it uh, and it's uh, or we we ourselves ate it and we felt that it is sweet or something oh i would like to have it i want to search where it is available something like that now that fruit 
may leave behind some samskara and we may crave in the waking if at all you know we come across that fruit yes, let's say dragon fruit these days you know dragon fruit is becoming very famous it is named something by uh, indians but uh, you know uh, let's say we had never seen it and uh, we saw it in a dream and then we came across we were walking by we saw i i think i've seen it where i don't remember but then it was a dream but there is a vasana i want it to oh, it looks it, it is very tasty or something like that now this kind of a samskara is possible but it doesn't change a person it it didn't change during the dream you have ne- not really eaten the fruit at all you have not changed and become a karta bhukta of the fruit you have not become the fruit you have not eaten the fruit you have not become the fruit seller or the the fruit stall or the road you are standing on or the clothes that you are wearing or the others are wearing the akasha around you and everything that is there that is supporting that part of the dream is all you it is no one else it is all you because you slept in your room at night and you woke up in in the dream in this fashion without any history to how you reached there etc how you took janma there who are your parents there not, none of that is there but you are already in that scene of the dream yet you are buying the fruit and you have eaten that fruit that entire thing has not changed you at all that kind of a vivarta karana is ishwara for the entire prapancha in this waking world and more so that kind of a sarvatma ishwara can be seen as anything and everything this is the siddhantis perspective when he analyzes the upasana kanda the purva pakshi dosh cannot see this perspective he keeps on coming with the same question similar question here and there although this has been explained in the hriday akasha in the hriday akasha the parmatma has been seen or in uh, the dakshini akshi all this has been explained earlier but every now and then this way purvaksha or samadar comes up with this question ननु परमात्म परत्वे कथम प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति हाउ कैन परमात्मा बी शोन बाय दी श्रुति विच इज ऑल नोइंग श्रुति विच गिव्स एवरीथिंग दैट इज परोक्षा टू अस दैट कैंड ऑफ अ श्रुति हाउ कैन इट से दैट वैश्वानरा शुड बी सीन एज प्रादेश मात्र इन अ लिमिटेड स्पेस वेर एवर इट इज इति आशंक ताम व्याख्या तुम आह to explain those mantras the sutra kara takes the next sutra as abhivyaktir ityashmarakchah abhivyaktir ityashmarakchah so we have refuted we have refuted from our angle meaning the sutra kara has refuted directly now what he is doing is earlier the refutation was through the sutras now this refutation is through other rishis other acharyas says why us look at other acharyas also your karma kanda experts have gone by jaimini acharya has shown you vaishwanar shabda is paramatma by yogi ke vitpatti shakyartha directly now ashmarathya is also saying ashmarathya acharya is saying what abhivyakte he iti ashmarathya abhivyakte he means what due to the abhivyakti of paramatma due to the manifestation of paramatma paramatma manifest in any which manner for the anugraha of the upasaka the shruti says you do it in this manner if you imagine paramatma to be in pradesha matra then paramatma will swataha manifest there just like in karma kanda the siddhanti asks karma kandi when you do yaga that time you say agnaye swaha agni is pratyaksha there but agni is not that laukik agni laukik agni is very offer the ahuti but what do you say agnaye swaha agnaye dam namama indraye swaha indraye dam namama all that you are saying there those devatas indra devata agni devata are invoked there they are present there in their abhivyakti is there they are manifest there that is why during the homa all these chit chat and all should not be done 
There should be no chit chat even while eating because prana agni utra is an ahuti. Vaishwanur agni is being offered. Paramatma in the form of jatra agni or as the, the upadhi of jatra agni or through that karma of feeding the jatra agni is a homa. They, then also one should not have a lot of chit chat or anything. In fact, there should be mauna during that. Except for the mantras which are to be uttered in the homa, nothing else should go by. Everything else is om, om, om by nodding om. Elsewhere in the Upanishad, uh, in Taitri Upanishad, Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that. Why? Because every every uh, anumati or every question is answered by in, during the yajna as Om. Om, Om, Om. Should not be done Om, Om, Om. Should be done Om. So, with the intonation change, the Omkara is used. Nothing else should be really talked about. Nothing, no chit chat should go on other than the yajna. Why? Because Paramatma is there. Just like in, in, the, in temple also. People go and chat in the temple. In the front of the, uh, in the Murti. The Murti is not the Murti. It is not an idol worship. The worship is of the Paramatma who is invoked there in one form or the other. In the form of a Devi, in the form of the Devata. So there Pratyaksha Paramatma should be seen. Who cannot be seen. You should know that Paramatma is right there in that form. Why would you chit chat with anyone else? What is so important? That cannot wait till you step out of the temple. There are some uh, real, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call them. Even the Purohits in the Garbhaguri itself, they will be chatting on the phone or you know, such people also exist. Anyway, um, it is uh, going <laughs> quite away. But what I am saying is that the Karmakandi also knows that Paramatma is there invoked in the Murti and in the during the Homa, in the Murti anyway, Vaidikas uh, of that era, they let's say there is no Murti to talk about, but in Homa, Indra Devata is not Pratyaksha, but he is right there. He is not Pratyaksha to your naked eye, but he is there. Similarly, just like the Indra Devata, not par, we will say Paramatma is in the form of Indra Devata in the Homa. At multiple homas simultaneously going across the desha, also the same Paramatma is manifest as multiple Indra Devatas, multiple Agni Devatas, Ityadi. But from the Karmakandi's perspective, Indra Devata is manifest, not Paramatma. Indra Devata is manifest, that much is possible. Similarly, here Paramatma, Sarvatmaka Paramatma, how can he not be accepted to be having Abhivyakti in the Pradesha Matra? Very much possible. He should have no argument. So, this is shown by Ashmaratya Acharya. So, Abhivyakti Ritya Ashmaratya Anavichinnasya Api Paramatmanaha Pradesha Matratum Upapadyate Anavachinnasya, who is not Parichinna, that Paramatma who is Anavachinna, meaning who is not limited, who is Vyapaka, who is all pervasive, Tasya Api Paramatmanaha, that kind of Paramatma also can have. Pradesha Matratvam, he can also be present in a limited space. Kutaha, why? Abhivyaktehe. Abhivyaktehe means Upasakanam Anugrahaya Parameshwaraha Hrudeyadisthaneshu Pradesha Parimanaha Abhivyanjyate. So Kutaha Abhivyaktehe means due to manifestation. So Abhivyanjyate Kila. Pradesha Parimanaha San. Same Parameshwara, which Parameshwara? The Vyapaka Sarvatmaka Parameshwara. That kind of a Parameshwara. So whenever you see Parameshwara, there is only one Parameshwara. Who is Vyapaka? It is not here or there or in this form, only that Shiva or only that Vishnu. That Parameshwara is only one Ishwara who is Sarvakarana Karanam, who is Vinakaranam, that kind of a Parameshwara, who is Sarvatmaka, Hridaya Adhisthaneshu. This uh, Pradesha Matra can be Hridaya, it can be some other place also. Hridaya Adhisthaneshu. In various places such as Hridaya Ityadi, Pradesha Parimanaha. In a very small form, Pradesha Parimanaha Sun, being of that kind of a small form. Abhivyanjyate manifests 
इज मैनिफेस्टेड अभिव्यंजते किल इति आश्मरत्याचार्यो मन्यते इत्यर्थः सो ही सेज किल इज शोइंग इट इज प्रसिद्ध दिस परमेश्वर इज प्रसिद्ध एज मैनिफेस्टिंग इन एनी व्हिच वे इवन इन पुराण कथा यू विल सी कृष्णा यू नो अपीयर्ड एज समथिंग एल्स टू समवन कृष्णा अपीयर्ड एज कृष्णा टू सो मेनी मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल यादवस टू गोपिकास इन फैक्ट ईच गोपिका हैड हर ओन कृष्णा सेज भागवत एंड व्हेन दे आर डांसिंग you know with one gopika in between then another krishna then gopika krishna then each gopika had krishna on her left and krishna on her right so this kind of a thing is known kila means it is prasiddha it is known very well known abhivyanjate kila meaning what kind of a question is this when you know all this why are you putting a purva paksha this is how you can see it matantara maha there is another mata also anya mata what is that उटेस्टेशन उपासकानाम अनुग्रहाय आई मेंशन दिस अर्लियर बट इन द टेक्स्ट प्रॉपर आई हैड नॉट सेड इट उपासकानाम अनुग्रहाय टू ग्रेस ब्लेस द उपासकास एंड व्हाट डज बादरी आचार्य से प्रादेश मात्र हृदय पुंडरी कस्थेन बीइंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द द लोटस ऑफ द हार्ट दिस व्हाट इज द लोटस ऑफ द लोटस शेप्ड हार्ट व्हिच इज ऑफ द साइज ऑफ द फोल्डेड फिस्ट and uh, you know the shape is like a like a lotus uh, which is unopened lotus which is upside down so that is the pundarika so pradesha matra hrudaya pundarika sthena manasa anusmrutehe dhyanat pradesha matra iti upacharyate iti badari racharya manyate ityah iti so iti ityartha so the other mata badari acharya also says who is also prakanda has prakanda panditya in uh, karmakanda so he says this upasana upasana is part of that upasana kanda says manasa anusmrute he paramatma that limitless sarvatmaka paramatma how will you imagine how will any upasaka imagine let's say you, you are one of and you can imagine a limitless tattva you can do uh, vishwarupa darshana you can have that kind of an imagination let's say although bhagwan krishna says that you cannot have that vishwarupa darshana by this this laukika akshi with these eyes you cannot see so if to arjuna also he had to give divya chakshu with these laukika chakshu you cannot have vishwarupa darshana so let's say imagination is possible for one of uh, great upasaka what about others other upasakas cannot have all upasakas cannot have that kind of a vishwarupa drushti or sarvatma drushti so there bhagwan helps by manifesting in some place hridaya akasha dakshinakshi in the space between the murdha and the chin between the head and the chin so the entire face basically that area so all this manifestation is possible anusmrute he in that manner manasa anusmrute he to help a person do dhyana using his mind which is limited the mind has limited capacity it limits the human being without the mind one would be all pervasive perhaps but the mind is the upadhi which limits a person and his buddhi also is limited thereby anusmrute dhyana pradesha matra iti upacharyate it's an only upachara it is परमात्मा सर्वव्यापक सर्वात्म परमात्मा इज फिगरेटिवली कॉल्ड एज प्रादेश मात्रा ही इज नॉट मैनिफेस्टिंग देयर लिटरली ही इज ही इज देयर टू बी इमेजिन इन दैट मैनर फॉर द हेल्प ऑफ द उपासका टू एड द उपासका इन इज उपासना 
he is figuratively called so he is not going to be become limited by that he is figuratively called so iti upacharyate iti badarhi acharyah manyate ityah iti sorry ityah mana matantaram ah matantaram ah another mata is what sampatte riti jaiminis tatha hi darshayati sampatte riti jaiminis tatha hi darshayati jaimini acharya says further sampatte he sampatte he iti sampatte riti जैमिनी तथा ही दर्शे संपत्ते इज वॉट संपत्ते संपत संपत्त इज संपत्ति संपत्ति और इज संपद उपासना इट्स अ चिंतन इट इज अ उपासना संपत्त और संपत्ति इज अनदर वर्ड फॉर उपासना अ पर्टिकुलर कैंड ऑफ उपासना चिंतन चिंतन उपासना इतना सो संपत्ते हे इति जैमिनी ही तथा ही दर्शयति सो जैमिनी आचार्य शोज व्हाट डज ही शो दर्शयति शोज जैमिनी आचार्य शोज इन दैट मैनर दैट इट इज फॉर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ संपत्ति और ड्यू टू संपत्ति ड्यू टू संपत्ति मींस ड्यू टू उपासना मूर्ध प्रवृति चुबुकांते प्रादेश मात्रे वैश्वानरस्य उपास्यत्वम उपास्यत्व प्रतिपादनात मूर्ध प्रवृति स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मूर्ध फ्रॉम द हेड चुबुकांते अप टू दी चिन्ह दैट इज ए प्रादेश मात्र इन वन उपासना इन सम उपासना हृदयाकाश हृदय हृदय पुंडरी काक्ष इन सम प्लेस सम उपासना इट इज इन दी परमात्मा इज सीन इन दी आय राइट आय सो देर आर सो मेनी वेज ऑफ उपासना बेस्ड ऑन दी डिफरेंट कांड Now in Vaishwan Rupasana, Murda Pravati Chubukante Pradesha Matra is also to be seen as in one section. It has to be seen as uh, Vaishwan Rupasana. So Pradesha Matra Vaishwan Rupasana se Upasyatva Pratipadana. Due to such kind of a teaching being there in the Upasana, that Vaishwan Rupasana has to be seen as the Upasya in this area of the face of the Upasaka. देर बाय वॉट परमेश्वर से प्रादेश मात्र संपन्न परमेश्वर इज सीन टू बी हेविंग दट लिमिटेड स्पेस इन दट उपासना ऑन दी फेस ततः प्रादेश मात्र संपत्ते संपत्ते मीन वॉट प्रादेश मात्र संपत्ते प्रादेश मात्र उपासना फॉर दट प्रादेश मात्र उपासना ड्यू टू दैट उपासना ऑफ दी प्रादेश मात्र प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति ही उपपद्यते ड्यू टू दैट उपासना यू कैन सी फॉर दैट उपासना आल्सो द पर्पस इज दैट उपासना ऑल्सो दिस इज षष्टी दी षष्टी कैन बी सीन हैविंग दैट कैंड ऑफ एन अर्थ इट इज फॉर दैट पर्पस दैट इज हेतु सॉरी नॉट षष्टी पंचमी सो दिस पंचमी यू कैन सी थ्रू षष्टी यू कैन सी अनदर अर्थ but this with panchami due to that kind of a mention of sampatti due to that upasana due to that upasana means if you take shashti for that upasana shashti is samanyatya shesha shesha shashti it is possible i'm just saying you can if you want to say for that purpose then shashti can be used and you can land on that meaning or you have to take what you have to take the panchami meaning as hetu सो प्रादेश मात्र संपत्ते ड्यू टू दैट उपासना ऑफ प्रादेश मात्र दि ब्रह्म मीनिंग कैन बी सीन एज लिमिटेड ऑल्सो देर प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति उपपद्य इट इज टेनेबल टू हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ श्रुति सो हाउ डू हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ श्रुति विच लिमिट्स परमात्मा आज दि पूर्व पक्षी सो दि क्वेश्चन वॉज प्रादेश मात्र इफ यू सी अर्लियर कथम प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति सो आंसर इज गिवन बाय जैमिनी आचार्य आल्सो नॉट ओनली आश्मरथ्य बादरी आल्सो नाउ जैमिनी आचार्य सेज ड्यू टू संपत्ति व्हिच कैन बी रेड एज विच षष्टि फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ संपत्ति अस्मिन अर्थे श्रुत्यंतर संवादम आह सूत्रकार तथा ही दर्शयति सो देर अदर अदर संवाद इज देर श्रुत्यंतर संवाद अदर श्रुति इज देर समदर श्रुति Discusses this. It shows darshayati. Tatha hi darshayati means shrutyantara samvadam aha sutra karaha. Bhagwan Badrayana shows that there is 
other shruti in this meaning which meaning that bhagwan for bhagwan he is mentioned as pradesh matra paramatma himself is mentioned as pradesh matra due to this upasana only due to that upasana pradesh matram iva havai deva suvidata abhisampanna ha ityadi vajasaneya brahmanam murdhadi chubukanteshu dhyupravrutin prithivyantan avayavan trailokyatmana vaishvanarasa sampadayat pradesh matratva sampattim paramatmana darshayati ityartha so what is the meaning there tatahi darshayati in the sutra jaimini tatahi darshayati jaimini acharya shows there another shruti which is in this meaning as to for sampatti due to sampatti due to upasana parameshwara he is paramatma he is seen as pradesh matra literally it is saying that shruti says pradesh matram iva iva means like as though having a limited space not limited space itself not with a limited space but as though having a limited space the same sarvatma paramatma is available for what purpose for upasana sampatti for sampatti so pradesh matram iva ha vai devaha suviditaha abhisampanna ha they have as though attained that status as though they have attained that status so aparichinna although they are aparicham chinna still they are available in that pradesh matra also as do iva ityadi vajasaneya brahmanam murdhadi chubukanteshu dhyuprabrutin so dhyu is svargaloka that svargaloka is also seen in this space murdhadi chubukanteshu in that limited space of the face from the head starting from the head till the chin one can imagine the heaven also swarga swarga loka heaven is a, has a loaded meaning you prefer swarga so swarga can be imagined you loka there prithivyantan ending with prithivi also the chin at the chin level there is prithivi and at the head level there is swarga all this entire all the lokas can be imagined there paramatma himself can be imagined in that space prithivyantan avayavan all his parts can be seen in in the face and that is the upasana trayo trilokatmana trilokyatmana means in the form of all the three worlds who is that vaishvanara himself trayo trilokatmana vaishvanarasya sampadayat sampadayat through that upasana teaching that upasana pradesh matratva sampattim paramatmana darshayati ityartha so through this imagination of paramatma as do limited in the upasaka's face having three lokas as his sharira trilokatra means triloki sharir shariri sharirasya sharirinah vaishvanarasya that vaishvanara who has all the three worlds as his sharira he is imagined in the limited space of the face of the mukha of the of the upasaka he himself does that and then thereby pradesh matratva sampattim that upasana parmatmana darshayati it is the upasana of parmatma who is the meaning of the word vaishvanara so the last uh, we'll just finish although i have uh, overshot i'll just uh, finish the last sutra in this uh, pada pradesh matra shruti sampatti nimitta ityatra shrutyantara mah see nimitta you see this nimitta so nimitta is for the purpose of sampatti upasana so thereby you can take shashti and interpret the fourth case meaning also this is by extension okay to get the meaning at for that purpose tadarthi chaturthi that kind of meaning nimitta so with panchami you won't get that so you can see it as shashti also because shashti is also sampatti pradesh matra shruti hi sampatti nimitta kin nimitta sa shruti pradesh matra shruti so sampatti nimittam यस्या श्रुते सा श्रुति संपत्ति निमित्ता श्रुति सो दैट श्रुति विच इज प्रादेश मात्र प्रादेश मात्र श्रुति शोस प्रादेश मात्र उपासना दैट इज व्हाट संपत्ति निमित्त इट इज फॉर उपासना पर्पस ओनली नॉट फॉर एनी अदर पर्पस 
the limited space is shown by the shruti for paramatma only for upasana sampatti is the nimitta sampatti upasana is the nimitta ityatra shrutyantara maha there is another shruti also in that sense amananti chainam asmin amananti chainam asmin so last sutra says amananti meaning the samshakha followers also chant in this manner in the sampradaya they have attained it it has come from ishwara in another shakha where cha enam asmin enam as enam amananti vaidikah anya shakinah enam paramatmanam asmin amananti asmin pradesha parimane asmin in this pradesha in this space also limited space also asmin pradesha parimane in that limited space murda chubukantarale the very same space that is shown in the other shakha the space starting with the head ending with the chin enam parameshwaram jabalaha jabala amananti vaidikah amananti in the jabala shruti it is there shakha another shakha ya yesu ananto vyakta atma so vimukte pratishthita iti ityadya amananti so ya esah anantah avyaktah atma paramatma see atma can be jeevatma also avyakta atma can also be jeevatma but ananta avyakta atma there you have to take paramatma alone same atma is paramatma of course but this jeevatma has an upadhi of the sharira where he it becomes a visheshana with that this atma is avyakta but not ananta because it is not anaka paryantebhya till the end of the nails the atma jeevatma is there there is no association outside the tip of the nails with tadatmya sambandha there is no identification there is a gauna sambandha with the putradi but there is no mukhya sambandha there is no mithya sambandha also mukhya atma is paramatma but mithya atma is jeevatma and gauna atma is putradi so yah esha ananta when you say this ananta is not this jeevatma it is paramatma so yah esha ananta avyakta atma paramatma sa avimukte pratishthite pratishthita iti so avimukte pratishthita iti he is there in which space ityadyamananti in the pradesha matra in the pradesha matra he is there so in a particular space he is seen he can be seen in a particular desha also so somewhere it is avimukte is in varanasi also some meaning is there so ityadyamananti atah pradesha matra shruti hi upapanna ityartha so pradesha matra shruti is possible even if it is paramatma as a meaning even if it takes meaning of vaishwana shabda as paramatma who is sarvatma who is anavachinn but still pradesha matra prachinnatvam can be there for upasana and it is shown by multiple shrutis and across shakhas also tasma sarvatmakah paramatma eva ih upasya iti atishobanam there is absolutely no doubt that paramatma is the meaning of vaishwanara in the vaishwanara upasana paramatma is the upasya there is absolutely no doubt it is proven with ved pramana with anumana through mimamsa and established very well therefore it is atishobanam it is perfect it is absolutely flawless this is the meaning iti shri brahma tattva prakashikayam pratham adhyayasya dvitiya pada this and the second pada of the first adhyaya samanvaya adhyaya in brahma tattva prakashika vritti by bhagavan sadashiva brahmendra om amnayanta sam आदि मध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिपास्मे नमस्ते धन्यवाद धन्यवाद